I had a lot of problem with this game because with this remaster, due to how EA appears to have taken the character out of the remaster, there was something very unique and sci-fi like in the original Mass Effect graphics before the remaster. Yeah, some of the textures were low res. That's not debatable. There were some bugs. There were some issues. Some of the things clipped. Yes. But when you turned on the game, you instantly knew it was Mass Effect. There was a character about it that made it unique. This is where my concern lies, is that in their effort to remaster the game, they remastered the character out of it. So you'll notice that there's a lot of contrast, a lot of blue and red contrasts in the original in the original version. I believe that had a lot to go had a lot to do with the Paragon Renegade uh, blue slash orange charts that you were supposed to follow throughout the game, making decisions based on Paragon and Renegade. Now that element seems to have been lost as you go further and further through this trailer. Now, I'm not referencing the Mass Effect 2. The Mass Effect 2 remaster looks very good. I have no problem with it. But Mass Effect 2 had a different character to it. The graphics had a different character to it than Mass Effect 1. Okay? Mass Effect 2 had a more of an orange had a more of an orange and uh, orange and white slash black contrast because that was really what the game was emphasizing because of the Cerberus colors. So you'll actually see that character throughout Mass Effect 2, the Cerberus colors of the orange and the black and the white. It's all there. You, it's, it's subtle, but you can see it throughout the game. Mass Effect 1 was based more on blue blues and reds. All right, it's, it's very easy to tell when you're in a Mass Effect 1 and a Mass Effect 2 game. They're, well, other than, visuals aside, visuals aside, just the the color stylization is an easy is an easy giveaway. And it what made each game unique. Each game had its own unique style. Okay? So sometimes when you remaster something, you remove the style that made the game what it was. So, yeah, the game may play the same, but it won't feel the same. In some cases, that may be a good thing, but you still want to know that you're playing Mass Effect. There were a lot of good things about Mass Effect. There was a lot of good things about it. Uh, the graphics were a small portion of it, Okay, large portion of it. But, there, like I said, there was a character inherent in Mass Effect 1 in the style that they chose to use. That seems to have been lost in this remaster. And I'm sad to see it go. I don't want to sound like some whiny brat complaining about everything, but I've played these games over and over and over and over. I have multiple characters leveled up through all of them. I've tried to go through all the expansions. I have played Paragon, I played Renegade, I played Male, I played Female. I have experienced I have done different choices, tried to go different routes. I have played these games. So, yes, uh, they are a part of me. They are a part of how uh, I grew up. Every single game I literally took an entire day off when Mass Effect 3 dropped I took I called in sick that day and played for 24 hours straight to beat that game I am not fucking kidding I, that, I did not move out of that chair except to go to the bathroom 
or grab something to eat. That was it. I was glued to that chair and played Mass Effect 3 from beginning to end. Damn near killed me the next day because I worked night shift. But that was my dedication and my passion to this game. Mass Effect 2 is the same way. Mass Effect 2, for me, is the best story... The best story of the trilogy. The absolute best story whatsoever with the highest stakes. It may not be the best gameplay-wise. I think, in reality, Mass Effect 3 holds that title. And it's maybe not the best as far as... The worlds, how expansive the worlds are, that definitely goes to Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect was a very expansive world set. Mass Effect 2, again, story, was very, very good in Mass Effect 2. But getting back to Mass Effect 1, my primary point through this entire, through this entire, I don't know, review of this trailer is that there's a character and there's a stylization that was part of each one of the games in these series. And I feel like they've gammed it away. They've just taken the gamma and turned it up and wiped out the color, the color style that was part of Mass Effect 1. Anybody who has played Mass Effect 1 knows what I'm talking about. 